All right. Now we go on, and the real party is going to start with multiple choice questions. Okay, so we do have multiple choice questions, and uh, I selected this test because there is a map in this test as well. So we will solve the map also. Part two is a commentary. In IELTS listening, part two there is always a commentary. One person will talk, and you will have to listen and answer. Part one is a dialogue. Part two is commentary. Part three is a tutorial where there there are two students sometimes one professor and two students and part 4 is a lecture where one person talks so part 2 questions 11 and 12 choose two letters a to e uh what are the two main reasons why this site has been chosen for housing development underline two main reasons two main reasons and then underline site has been chosen so two reasons why site has been chosen now imagine they have chosen a site for housing like you know housing colonies and societies so they have chosen a site for housing development what are two reasons why have they chosen this site now they've mentioned five reasons so ielts listening multiple choice is like true false In IELTS reading, we have a question type true false. Listening multiple choice questions are like true false. There is no not given, only true false. Okay, five options are given. According to the audio, three options will be false and two options will be true. So you've got to select those true options. And I tell you how do they make true options and how do they make false options. Option A. suitable geographical features underline suitable geographical features now in the audio if this say geographically this site is not appropriate a is not the right answer and if they say we've chosen this site because of the suitable geographical features then a will be the right answer and remember they will use synonyms right option b there is easy access to local facilities underline easy access local facilities what are local facilities like there are fruit shops vegetable shops grocery shops and all that so easy access local facilities if they have chosen for this reason b will be the right answer otherwise if they say we did not consider easy access to local facilities or that is not the reason if they say that is not the reason then it is not the answer c good connections with airport just underline airport or good connections good connections with airport means it's closer to the airport option d land is of little agricultural values just underline little agricultural value so if they say this land is of little agricultural value that's why we decided to convert it into housing society then this is that so two reason out of five and option e it will be convenient for workers convenient for workers if they say there are many factories in the vicinity so the workers who work there they can live here and that is the main reason we have chosen this site then e will be the right answer now please listen and another problem they will not discuss all five options in order if they only discuss in order multiple choice will not be difficult now what do you need to do first you need to see which option is being discussed right and then you need to decide tick or cross with that option okay so let's start part 2 you will hear a talk to members of the public about plans for a new housing development near a town called nunston hello everyone it's good to see that so many members of the public have shown up for our presentation on the new housing development planned on the outskirts of nunston I'm Mark Reynolds and I'm communications manager at the development. I'll start by giving you a brief overview of our plans for the development. So, one thing I'm sure you'll want to know is why we've selected this particular site for a housing development. At present, it's being used for farming, like much of the land around Nunston. But because of the new industrial center in Nunston there's a lot of demand for housing for employees in the region as many employees are having to commute long distances at present of course 
There's also the fact that we have an international airport just 20 minutes drive away. But although that's certainly convenient, it wasn't one of our major criteria for choosing the site. We were more interested in the fact that there's an excellent hospital just 15 kilometres away, and a large secondary school even closer than that. One drawback to the site is that it's on quite a steep slope, but we've taken account of that in our planning, so it shouldn't be a major problem. OK, now out of five, correct options are option E and option B. You may write it in any order, option E and option B. Okay, now I want you to write down a code. Please write it down. It's D, E, write it down. D, E, C, B, A. D, E, C, B, A. This is the order in which they discussed all the options. Now, I'm going to play the audio again. I will play these options one by one. And I will tell you why three options are wrong and one option is right. What's the reason for that? Okay, so please now listen to it again. Part 2. You will hear a talk to members of the public about plans for a new housing development near a town called Nunston. Hello everyone. It's good to see that so many members of the public have shown up for our presentation on the new housing development planned on the outskirts of Nunston. I'm Mark Reynolds and I'm communications manager at the development. I'll start by giving you a brief overview of our plans for the development. So, one thing I'm sure you'll want to know is why we've selected this particular site. Okay, why we selected this particular site, it means now answers are going to come. Before that it was all ba ba ba. You should know when it is, uh, it is that, so you should be clear about it. Okay, now let's go on. Uh, we'll just continue. For a housing development. At present, it's being used for farming. At present, it's been used for farming. Option D, land is little agricultural value. Little value. And he said, at present, it is used for farming. What does it mean? It is of great agricultural value. So D is wrong answer. Got the point? Yeah. Indeed, this, he says little agricultural value. And in the audio, he says it is used for farming. When some land is used for farming, it is of great agricultural value. So D is wrong answer. Now, please come to option E. Like much of the land around Nunston. But because of the new industrial centre in Nunston, there's a lot of demand for housing for employees. It there's a lot of demand for housing for employees. Because of new industrial thing. So it will be convenient for workers. Right? So first correct answer is E. Now please come to option C. In the region. As many employees are having to commute long distances at present. Okay. Many employees have to commute long distances. So E is the right answer. Of course. There's also the fact that we have an international airport just 20 minutes drive away. Okay, international airport, just 20 minutes drive away. Now, those who do not understand, airport, airport, good. Now, now listen next thing. What does he say? But, although that's certainly convenient, it wasn't one of our major criteria. It wasn't one of our major criteria. Means it was not the reason. Okay, airport, it wasn't one of our major criteria. So, option C is... Wrong option. You need to cross it. I told you true, false. He said it was not our major criteria. Now come to option B. For choosing the site. We were more interested in the fact that there's an excellent hospital just 15 kilometers away. There is an excellent hospital 15 kilometers away. That is local facility. Access to local facility. And a large secondary school even closer than that. A large secondary school even closer than that. 20 minutes closer than 20 minutes means 10 to 15 minutes. 
okay so these are local facilities and 20 minutes 15 minutes means easy access so second correct answer is option b now please come to option a at one drawback to the site one drawback now drawback is never the reason why you are selecting the site he said straight away one drawback is that it's on quite a steep slope it's on quite a steep slope when the slope is steep a uh, steep it doesn't mean it is suitable geographical feature suitable geographical feature is plain ground but it is steep slope means not suitable geographically like you know houses on uh, mountains and all that on steep slopes so he said one drawback drawback means it's not the reason so a is the wrong option so in multiple choice questions when you know the wrong options you will find the right answers okay don't worry we have two more questions let's do them questions 13 and 14 which two aspects of planned housing development have people given positive feedback? Underline two aspects and then underline people given positive feedback. What does it mean? Out of five, on three aspects, people gave negative feedback. Now, those three aspects where people give negative feedback, you need to cross them. And where people give positive feedback, that will be your answer. Facilities for cyclists. And in multiple choice options, do not read article. Article is a, an, the, some, any. Don't read these words. Don't waste your time. Simply facilities for cyclists or cyclists facilities. Option B, impact on environment. See that they've written the impact on the environment. So it's basically environmental impact. Simple. Underline impact and environment. Okay. Encouragement of good relations between residents. So encouragement, good relations, residents. And option D, low cost accommodation. See that? Long option. The low cost of all the accommodation. But you underline low cost accommodation. Simple. And rural location. Okay, some people love to live in the villages with the developed housing societies and all that. Now, out of five, people gave positive feedback on two things. So where people gave positive feedback, that will be your answer. If they say people disliked rural location or people were not very happy with the low cost accommodation. So when they say people disliked, people were not happy, people criticized that means that's not your answer because that is negative so where they appreciate it they liked it that is your answer okay so let's see we've had a lot of positive feedback about the plans people like the wide variety of accommodation types and prices and the fact that it's only a short drive to get out into the countryside from the development we were particularly pleased that so many people liked the designs for the layout of the development, with the majority of people saying it generally made a good impression and blended in well with the natural features of the landscape, with provision made for protecting trees and wildlife on the site. Some people have mentioned that they'd like to see more facilities for cyclists, and we'll look at that, but the overall feedback has been that the design and facilities of the development make it seem a place where people of all ages can live together happily. People of all ages can live together happily. Encouragement of good relations between residents. So one correct answer is option C, and second correct answer is Option B, impact on the environment. Okay. All right. I'm just going to play this one again. We've had a lot of positive feedback about the plans. People like the wide variety of... Okay. You need to write this code again. It's D, E, B, A, C. This is the order in which they discussed all the options. Okay. So accommodation types and prices and the fact that it will like we've had a lot of positive feedback about the plans people like the wide variety of accommodation types 
and prices, and the fact that it's only a short drive to get out into the countryside from. Okay, people liked prices and all that, but prices they didn't mention the low cost of all the accommodation. I mean, they didn't mention low cost, right? They said people like the prices. Now, prices don't mean low cost. The development. We were particularly pleased that so many people liked the designs for the layout of the development. Okay, so many people like the design. Now, it's not the location; it's the design they are talking about. With the majority of people saying it generally made a good impression. And blended in well with the natural features of the landscape. With okay, blended in well with the natural features of the landscape. Blended in well, not just the rural location. Okay. Provision made for protecting trees and wildlife. Yes. Now, protecting trees and wildlife. What is that? Impact on the environment. When they talk about environment, they talk about trees. They talk about global warming. They talk about wildlife, animals, birds, plants, and all that. So, second correct answer, uh, it's actually B. First one. On the site. Some people have mentioned that they'd like to see more facilities for cyclists. Some people mentioned they would like to see future tense. They would like to see. It's not present. They would like to see more. Things facilities for cyclists. So when something is not available, it's not positive feedback. And we'll look at that. But the overall feedback has been that the design and facilities of the development make it seem a place where people of all ages can live together happily. Okay, where people of all ages can live together happily. Good relations live together happily. Right? C is the second correct answer. So when you write your answers on your answer sheet, if you are taking paper delivered IELTS, you can write thirteen B and fourteen C, or you can write thirteen C, fourteen B. Both ways your answer is correct. But try to follow the order. That that's going to be better.